If the sight of this doesn't make your lower parts tingle, you must be dead. Eating damper without a beer in hand? Now that should be illegal. Mm. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Australian bush bread, or damper as we like to call it. So just sit right back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. And do all the normal stuff, subscribe, like, comment, share, it all helps. Damper is an easy and quick type of bread made from a few ingredients. Being very basic, it was made out of a need, not for the taste. But I think we can give this a little boost and inject it with a little pizzazz. Ta-da! Damper was made by early explorers in Australia, sometimes using grains and seeds they'd found along on their travels. This is a trick they learned from the Aborigines, and that's why sometimes it's also referred to as seed cake. That's enough chit chat, let's make some damper. Into a large bowl, you're gonna to wanna to put three and a half cups of self-raising flour. And to that, you wanna add one teaspoon of run-of-the-mill table salt. And 50 grams of unsalted butter that's been cubed for your pleasure. And we just wanna knead the butter into the flour until it becomes all crumbly. And then to this, add two tablespoons of maple syrup to add some sweetness. Half a cup of full cream moo juice and one cup of beer. And I have another quarter cup of beer on standby just in case I need it. Mix this all up and work it until you see it transform into a dough consistency. And if you do find it a little bit dry, you can add a bit more of that beer. Just a little at a time though. It's wonderfully moist. Smack! And mix that in and when you're happy with it, Sprinkle some flour on your bench top and this will just stop the dough from sticking to it. We are just going to knead it some more. Just keep folding it over itself. And then we're just going to shape it into a ball and pop it back into the bowl. And then just place something on top of it. I'm using a pizza tray. And we're going to leave that alone as the beer has yeast in it and that's going to activate and help that damper rise. We just need to put this in a warm, dry spot for 30 minutes while we get the barbecue ready. I'm using a 57 centimetre Weber kettle and I'm pairing it up with one charcoal basket because I want to be cooking at temps of 180 degrees Celsius today. And how I'll do this by half filling a chimney starter with lump charcoal. I'll grab the charcoal basket, I'll place it to one side of the charcoal grate and I'll dump my fuel into it. I'll carefully put the grill in place I'll pop the lid on, making sure all the vents are wide open. I'm gonna let that warm up for 10 minutes. The temps and times for this cook are sort of approximate because normally dampers cooked in the charcoal embers of a campfire. It's all right, we can do this. While the barbecue is warming up, we can prep the damper. Sprinkle some flour on a pizza tray, add the damper, and you just wanna shape it into roughly a 15 centimeter ball. And then just brush on some milk on the top of the damper. And this will just help color the crust and crisp it up during the cooking. And just sprinkle over some more flour on top just to give it that rustic look. And then just using a sharp knife, we're just gonna make some slits in the top of the damper. As the bread rises, it's going to split. And that usually is gonna happen at the weakest point. And so all we're doing with those slits is creating those weak points. The web has warmed up. So just place the damper on the opposite side of the lit fuel. Put the lid back on, making sure that lid vent is over our damper. That way we are controlling the heat and drawing it over our food. And we'll leave this alone for 45 minutes. Damper is a perfect camp bread to make because it's great for soaking up all those sauces when you cook a stew. Or if, like me, while it's still hot, whack on some butter. Perfect. We are 45 minutes in and we need to check that damper. Have you ever seen a better looking damper? Now you wanna see some browning on top and when you tap it, it should sound hollow. That means it's cooked and we just need to get it off the heat and put it onto a cooling tray. Today I'm using a high indirect heat of 180 degrees Celsius to bake with. And all up, this damper will take 45 minutes to be perfectly cooked. Or for those of you using my beer timer, you're looking at a two beer cook. Cheers. Did you know that drinking beer while baking bread makes you an alcoholic? Neither did I. That's why I'm baking damper. So drink up. Once it is cooled, slice it up, add some butter on it, and shove that in your gob. Mmm.